This a live look from our nation's capital tonight. We're in the last hour. House Republicans nominated Louisiana Representative Mike Johnson to be the new House Speaker. He is the fourth candidate to be nominated. The third was Minnesota's Tom Emmer. But just hours after he was nominated today, he dropped out of the race because he couldn't secure enough support from House Republicans. The full House still needs to vote on Johnson being Speaker. The earliest that could happen is tomorrow afternoon and they need to get moving to get congressional business back on track, a process that's proving to be difficult. We have team coverage tonight, including what Emmer's constituents think of all the attention, but we begin with political reporter John Croman, who's in Washington, D.C. Tom Emmer is clearly the most conservative member of Minnesota's congressional delegation, but in the end, he wasn't conservative enough to win over detractors and lock in the 217 votes he needed to become the next House Speaker. As darkness descended upon the nation's capital, so too did the curtain fall on Tom Emmer's hopes to ascend to the highest spot in the U.S. House. Is he running? Are you interested? Emmer started the day as the one with the best shot at winning the nomination from fellow Republicans, and any member who emerged from the closed door meeting was quickly swarmed and surrounded by Capitol media. So if your question is, are we worried that some members might go work with Democrats? That's already happened. The eight members work with every single Democrat to put us in this place. Eventually, we learned Emmer had won the nomination. He went swimmingly. But the word came that he was still trying to persuade holdouts. I don't know what his, what his path is right now. He's got most votes. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Now we've got to find out a way how to get 217. I think today, honestly, I think I think we could probably have a speaker today. I do. But it, I don't. whether it's Tom, I don't know. By mid-afternoon. Should he drop out? That's up to Tom. The mood in the crowded hallway in the Longworth building changed. Will you vote for someone else on the floor? I would, vote, I would vote for a conservative. I would vote for a conservative speaker of the House. Would you vote, but, Tom, Emmer, Tom Emmer's not a conservative. Would you vote is Emmer out? Yes. This has just been a cluster, a mistake, and it has harmed not just the party, but the nation. Well, Congressman Emmer is now out of the national spotlight for the most part. The drama continues here in the Beltway because for three weeks now, the House has been without a leader and is in limbo. In Washington, John Croman, CARE 11 News.